getting approved. We will have 100 million vaccine doses before the end of the year, maybe sooner than that, maybe substantially before. The Biden lockdown, he's willing to lock you down. You guys aren't even open yet. What the hell is going on with your state? You know, Florida's open, all this. Florida had a surge, great governor, surge, went down. Arizona had a surge, went down, great governor. Texas had a surge, went down. You guys never open. What the hell is going on in Pennsylvania, right? The Biden lockdown will crush America. We will crush the virus. We're doing that. We're crushing the virus. Look at our numbers compared to Europe. You know, they always said, oh, Europe, Europe, Europe. Look at our numbers compared. And we had the biggest of, of any country, the biggest comeback. We came back faster. We went down less economically, came back faster. If you want depression, doom and despair, vote for sleepy Joe Biden. And boredom. You know the great thing? I always say, someday, these people, look at all of them back, look at all those cameras. You know what I say? Someday, they're going to get smart. They're going to endorse President Trump. Because if you had Sleepy Joe, then nobody's going to be interested in politics anymore. That's going to be the end of that. They will all go out of business. They should have gone out of business four years ago. Then I came along. If you want open schools, an open economy, and a safe, healthy, thriving country, Vote for me. We're going to do it. We're doing it now. We're doing it now. We're joined today by a few of my friends. I'll tell you, this one guy, he got it right from the beginning. That's right. How did you know that? He's a warrior. He's tough as hell. He could have only been grown in Pennsylvania because he's that kind of a guy. He said a long time ago when I knew him, it was a year before the election, and I said, this is Four years plus one. I said, uh, how do you think we're going to do? He said, sir, you're going to win. He said, how the hell do you know that? I just started. The escalator ride wasn't too old, right? The famous escalator with our first lady. They love our first lady. Wasn't too old. We had just come down, and a man named Congressman Mike Kelly said, sir, you're going to win in a landslide. Come up here, Mike. Come up. Come on. I don't know. Get up. He can fit. He said, I can't. I can't do it again. They'll figure it out. Don't hurt yourself, though, Mike. Don't prove everything, Mike. Just, hey, fellas, could you help the man? He said, you know, just give me a hand. Take your time, Mike. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. Can you imagine? He's trying to climb over a barrier to show that you. We don't want to hurt our Mike. He's been right from the beginning. He's been with me. Great guy. Come here, Mike. And also, my Pennsylvania campaign chair done a 